PlayStation 5. Let me show you what's going on. So this customer bought this uh, disc edition online and it came with a ripped off fan connector. And unfortunately, the original owners lost the original fan connector. So we had to source some and they look like an exact match. I will be sure to leave them in the description if they work out. If I didn't, remind me. But anyway, I need to get this cover off so we can work on this area and go from there. For your orientation purposes, we'll be working in this area of the board. And looking at a clear image of our damage, we can see what we need to replace. The only pad we have left is the middle one. At least there's one though. We need to replace those two anchor points and those two signal ones. Those of you who have watched my channel before know that I'm probably going to use copper tape to accomplish this. But the first thing we need to do is grind some area. We can solder that tape on. This won't be near as flimsy once I get some solder on it. So we will grind it all the way up here. And get some of that off there. Okay. Ground all the way around the east. Ideally. I'm going to do about half of this one. Clean all of our dust off. The next step is going to require our equipment. So while I set up my equipment, let me throw up my expected temperatures for this job. These temperatures are brought to you by the associate links in the description. If you go to my video description and click on one of these links and buy any of this equipment, a small portion of that purchase will go to supporting the channel. And I greatly appreciate you. It won't cost you an extra dime. Switch it back to microscope. Next step is in our area. Plenty of solder on there. Now we're going to need to clean this really good. Now we're going to need new pads. Let's see if we can eye that to get it pretty close. Make our cut. If we're lucky we can get both pads out of this one. We are not using the copper tape for the adhesive properties, but it won't hurt for getting them kind of in place. Roughly. This way we want to be a little bit more careful not to put anywhere that it might make contact with other things. Soldering it on. Flatten it out. That should do. Shouldn't be moving any. Move it up just a tad. Okay, nice and solid. Now, because these are large signal lines, we're also going to use copper tape on them. As usual, we're just kind of eyeing it. It doesn't matter if we make it a little thinner. Oh yeah, that's plenty on that one. That will work nicely. I do need to get rid of that big mound. There we go. Push them back just a little bit. All right. Let's go ahead and solder these guys on. Too flat. Very good. This guy's turn. I'd have to say I like all of that. Definitely don't want bridges, so we're going to use some flux. Get rid of that. I was trying to avoid flux for the most part because I really don't need it getting under the pads, but we'll do our best to get it out. That's where the ultrasonic toothbrush comes in handy. All right. That is pretty clean. We like it. Now we need to add some extra security. Don't worry about making a mess on this part. If you want pretty, don't rip connectors off boards. And I think we still kind of got a bridge there that I need to deal with. That is not ideal, by the way. If you want to see that after. You usually don't want to be applying flux after you're started doing the UV coating. Flux and UV coating do not mix. Kind of a downer. We will cover this area really well. Make sure these are split up very well. No more bridging. 
this stuff scrapes off pretty easily so I'm not really worried about where it's going at the moment the UV coating will be especially important on this one all right we're gonna step away and let that cure real thoroughly for about 10 or 15 minutes go do something else and go from there I hope you're getting value out of this video if you find this something you're not ready to tackle just yet just a reminder I do offer these services, both local and mail-in. Just head over to micromage.repair, click free quote, fill out the form, and I'll get back to you personally. If you mention this video, I'll give you a 10% discount on this repair. Okay, we're back, and everything is nice and solid. I'm going to scrape some of it away. Plenty of space to solder. Some of these higher mounds as well. I'm going to get rid of. Actually, there isn't too much I need to scrape away. Most of the pins are going to be on this side, so... Add some flux, tin our pads, get this one down to a reasonable size. Just gonna worry about tin over here. I don't need it to be all over. These guys I need fairly well covered though. Change our orientation a little bit so that I can solder. I think that's gonna work out very nicely, but don't wanna to speak too soon. We have just this one pad soldered. We can adjust. Yeah, it's reasonably well lined. Can get this other one on. I'm gonna heat it up a little bit and push it down. As far as we can get it. Feels pretty solid. Pins. Okay, that feels like a very solid connector. Clean up. Next step will be to get it back together enough to test the fan and make sure it's working. Go from there. All right, moment of truth. Let's see if our fan is still working. That looks like a fan spin to me. Helps if you hook up the HDMI. Excellent. Fan is spinning. If you got value out of this video, I think you'll get value out of this one. And I'll see you there. Mm -hmm.